Hello everybody and welcome once again to Galactic Science 2. So, at the end of the last episode I said I was going to do some bits and pieces between episodes, which is what I've done. So, let's have a look at those first of all. We've got the um, plates and we've got the circuits. Now the circuits are very slow, they're taking, I don't know, quite a long time because they need a lot of power. How much power do they need? Um, energy required. 58 million, that's a lot. So what I can do for that, to speed that up, is to... Um, oh, I've made two ender chests here. And they're going to be used for the cactus automation. Here I ex increase the size of these test chests. Right word. And I put in here the bronze from below and some refined iron. And the refined iron is coming in here as plates, which is great. So we have a reasonable amount of stuff coming in here. I could do that, actually, because it's only going to come into the bottom chest or because of the way it's being fed in. So, of course, then I'd remove from here the um, moon dirt. So it's now it's now actually processing the the ores instead of just processing the um, oil. Because I've got a lot of, I think I've got enough oil now. Let's have a look. Oops. Still can't get through doorways. Wrong wind. It's here we've got plenty of ores. And uh, the aluminium is here. So we're going down I hope yeah and here we've got oil so we've got 250 or 250 buckets almost of plenty and we're still getting a lot of stuff in here now as you can see I've got quite a few tin ore and I've got quite a few um, copper ore from the moon in fact let's just we can take those out of there like that and add those to the filter in here and then they will actually also come out put those in and what we can do with these we can mine chem them if we actually look at the uses of this we can obviously grind it which is not very good but if we mine chem it we get f I think we'll get how many do we get 48 I think so pulverize there of course what was that for this one that's two buckets worth or two ingots worth but mine chem we get 48 now for 16 per means we get three copper ingots for each one of these copper ores which is I think by far the best actually so we'll let those come out of there like that in fact I've managed to pick up a two moon rocks in fact they've already gone fantastic we're left with a bit of curd, curd so we can put that at the bottom there so that was that one Our circuits are done and I speeded up this two machines so now the I moved them over as well so I basically swapped this one over here so this is now the, the one with the speed upgrades in and this is the pulverizer with uh, red the redstone finish with three speed upgrades in and this is the pulverizer with three augments in for secondary produce and I've also put a chest on here to feed it into that and what I also did here so I've got, let's do that actually next I, I've got in here some stuff that I want to cover today. I've made another fluid transposer. I've got I've taken away a laser and I've got a second laser here, which I've already put the two efficiencies on to. Now I think, I believe anyway, we can actually do that better. So I need a chemical decomposer from in here. Probably some pipe. I will take the transfer nodes as well. I think that'll do. So we can put down this efficiency two laser here, but let's go back into here again. I think I have this pickaxe with another efficiency one on it. In fact, what I was doing is I was wasting a bit of XP because I was actually adding these to these um, things here. So what we can do with this one now is we can move this enchant onto here. So we can put this into here and this onto here, and we can add the efficiency onto this one. I'm not sure what happens if you shift right click it or double click it. So I think what we could we do? Shift left click it and that moves it onto there. And I think there's actually a way of removing this as well, but I'm not sure how you do it. No, I can't think of a way. So this gives us efficiency three. And efficiency three is actually a slight problem. Well it is at the moment, and I'll show you why. So, 
we have we can put that into this slot here the laser if I get in the right one it goes to two and then this will start to let's have a look that was 5400 and now the energy has gone up to 30,200 now 30,200 is more power than I'm actually generating because I'm generating 20,000 from the sterling engines and I should be generating a bit from the solar panels and as you can see that's going down quite rapidly so I can't use that for too long but it's probably a good thing to have at the moment anyway I also had a problem with my uh, cobblestone generation it was it had stopped it looks like it stopped again actually because what happens is a bug in there's definitely a bug here if I split this into two take out the book put the book back in again but I should put the silicon back in take that out and put this in doesn't affect it let's remove this and put the back in book book back in again. now it's starting to go down what happens is if it goes down less then it's like that and then it starts to fill up again it actually breaks it it's not producing any more cobblestone which is really not very good at all we should see cobblestone coming into 16 yes it's going in there and every once in a while it should come into here like that as we can see but the problem is here once that gets down to zero it seems to break so what i do need to do is to speed this up so what have we got here basically i can speed this one up i've got a three already in here i think that's the reason for it anyway it's a problem it's not it's not it's not working reliable as it should do which basically means i'm not getting enough cobble as i would expect it to do these ones i've turned off because i think i've got enough because i basically filled up those two chests with bronze and i filled up the other chest with um steel like that and then i left it as that so that was that one well, i've heard these going these being busy shooting while i was upstairs so i've got plenty of more rotting flesh and whatever we've got in here take those out of that like that and do the other one as well of course let's do them both because they've been quite busy just recently oh and also i have made a full suit of thermal 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 padding helmet chest plate now so we're all ready to go basically to mars but what we got to do of course is to make some more items and in fact what we can do today is we can do some of those let's just put this away i don't need all of these do i rotting flesh and redstone and if you've got these lasers left over these are only generating 40 rf for each laser so they're pretty useless so what we can do with these, of course, is we can actually decompose them. I better clear this out, of course. That's also full. That was decomposing titanium dioxide. That should fill up the oxygen. So we could actually, let's take these out of here like that. I was wondering if I could actually make some titanium ingots. So let's just split this into four. And we can look some tad from foundry so we can put all of these into here but i don't think we can actually use them let's put the oxygen away here to make a i didn't find a recipe to make a helmet or whatever for that i only found a compressed recipe so what we can do here is shift click these out and that'll get us i think how did we get nine from that 24 which is actually exactly the right amount to make some uniforms or whatever so but i don't think it's going to work anyway what we wanted to do is decompose this now the recipe for this let's have a look at the recipe for that it's two diamonds two pieces of obsidian and which are basically an obsidian piece is what silicon dioxide i think it's about four silicon dioxide and some redstone so let's decompose this let's see what we get so we get our okay it's 32 of those we get some magnesium oxide that's basically the, the um, obsidian 
Here we get some carbon nanotubes, six carbon nanotubes. Now that's equivalent to two diamonds. And the rest of this here is basically three redstone. So iron oxide and uh, sil and copper. So we lose a bit of um, redstone, but that's about it. I mean, we lose two redstone in this case, and it varies according to how much you do it, which is a... Uh, but the diamonds are no problem, because what you can do with the diamonds, let's remove this now, it's basically, let's split those into two, put three in there, that'll make one diamond, and the other, put the other three in there, that'll make two diamonds, and we'll have two diamonds in here, like that. So you get back your diamonds, you get back your obsidian, and you lose a bit of um, redstone. Well, that's not such a big deal, is it? So that's quite a useful trick. So we can then basically take these diamonds here, make them to normal diamonds, and then put them in away. In fact, I think I've got quite a few diamonds now. 203, how about that? Quite a good, decent supply of diamonds. And I don't think you can craft anything with these. Yeah. I'm not sure if there's a different type of... Let's have a look. Yes, we can get some Tech Reborn, some Galactic Planets. Let's try this one. I'm not 100% sure if you can actually do it. Nope, nothing. So we can't do any recipes for those. Let's have a look at the use of that. Okay, so we can make a rock cutter from with silk touch from Tecra Born. Block, fair enough. And we can make a diamond inch drill. Which is good for mining, but we don't need to do so much mining in this game because we've got the quarry. Okay, we can make an ingot mould. We can roll it into some titanium plates. Let's have a look at what the uses of these are. With that we can make a titanium hole and another star, it's a bit on the expensive side. And a highly advanced machine block from uh, Tech Republic, which of course we can't make because we can't make an industrial. Can we make that? No. We have refined iron plates, advanced oil plates. We probably could make this actually. No we can't because of these. What else can we make? And we can decompose it back to titanium. Okay, so there's not that much we can do with this, unfortunately. There's no, doesn't seem to be any recipes. So, but there is the titanium armor. Let's have a look at that one. But this is these recipes, but they're a bit more difficult because you've got to get these compressed titanium plates, which you've got to compress them. That produces one for two ingots, so you need double the amount of ingots. Anyway, I can't do it in this in this pack anyway, so that won't waste time. In fact, what I will do, of course, is to fill up my oxygen because I have a feeling it's nearly used at one tank. If not, yep. Where did I just throw away that lever? Right. Okay. So what I was going to do next to show you next was the aluminium. The aluminium we can put onto here like this. We can put feed it in with aluminium, and at the moment it's empty, which is good. But what we can also do, you can put a, a transfer node here like that, and I don't want this to connect, so we have to right click it. So that's the no entry sign, so it can't go to the right. So let's take this one and right click this, and then it's okay. You it can't go to the left, so it goes straight down in here. So let's make some. Oops, turn the chest round can we make let's make some tin ingots put the tin in there put the tin back again and if we look at this now we're making ingots and they're disappearing and those ingots are actually coming into here so I've got plenty of aluminium ready to be um, hammered into plates ready for the ready for these um, heavy duty plates that we've got to make for the rocket and as you can see at the moment this is doing still working on these the refined iron ones it's going to take a while and i think hopefully it will take these bronze plates i'm not 100 percent sure to be honest with you we'll see because it's a it's a double chest and it seems to work with one half it this is fine it doesn't have a problem with that but we can't make another so we're aluminium we haven't got enough refined iron we haven't got enough bronze refined bronze that'd be another 24 that's not enough is it for 
to two or something like that. Anyway, also outside, I've tidied up this bit here. And this is where I want to do today. I want to get this. This is all sort of now growing, and it should get caught into. Oops, a bit far. Caught into here. So I picked up the signs as well. I think at least some of them. And I've got 41 cactus coming into here, which should be fine. I think that'll be fine anyway. Just take it out. So what I want to do with this is to replace it with an ender chest. So let's do that. Don't need that leave. I'll take the obsidian one. Wait, because I actually got I got quite a lot of hardness those chests. Let's do this one. And put onto the end of this the ender chest. And I coloured these as well with some cactus green. So we can put that into there. Maybe a little bit of luck that'll increase. <laughs> and what we need to do with the other side is to take that through. We need some place to be able to get power. I'm not sure I can do it here. There might be some bits at the back here. Or a good space. I think maybe the best place it would be in here. No, that looks a bit full too, doesn't it? I think we've got a full tank of, um, of fuel now. Hmm. Well, that's not going to work in there either. Where can I put this stuff? Maybe I'll have to try it in here. I, but I don't think I've got enough pay, power cables. Let's have a look. Um, here it will be if they're going to be anywhere. Four. Well, let's have a look. See if we can actually get through it with four. We need to run two machines with a bit of luck. I don't think we can do it. Let's just see. No. Actually, why has that stopped? Ah, let's run out of cables. Good. Oh, well, actually, that went fairly fast after upgrading that one, didn't it? So I was wondering if the power cables were coming in here. That don't think they are. At least not enough. So I have to put those back. Like that. I'm just wondering where to put this. Maybe I'll put it here for the time being. Remove these tanks. We've got some more stuff. Maybe even downstairs might be a good place. But for the time being, let's remove these. Can I remove that? Oh, I can. Does it lose its oil? I don't think it does. We'll soon see. I know the tanks don't. But does the refinery plus lose its oil? Hopefully not. Oh, it does. That was bad. Okay, never mind. So what we want to do now is we want to put an ender chest down. Maybe here. I know that probably won't open, will it? I can make, make a hole in the ceiling, of course. And then that's got to feed into the decomposer. And that decomposer's got to feed into the, tran the fluid transposer. That shouldn't be too difficult, actually. Let's just have a go at doing that. So, I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll put the, down the decomposer first of all. Now, with decomposers, it's basically it's a one to many. So you get you're decomposing one item. So with a bit of luck, if I put the ender chest here like that, take the room of that block, I should be able to open the ender chest. So, oh yes, it's working. You've got forty five in there now. So we can then take a transfer node and feed those into the top, like that. So that's now going to be feeding into here uh, cactus and producing water. 
So now we need to take the water and we need to feed this back in. And now this will do. This is a red cable with an export bus. So we can remove the export bus and put into that an import bus. And that should work. So what we now need to do is to put this fluid transposer down here like this. And I'm hoping that when I do this I can then configure it. So we'll shift click that. Uh, what we want is this to be on the input side over here. We want it coming in. So I think that's where we want the items. I'm hoping that I'm just hoping that the items will come into here. It doesn't look like they are doing. Because we want the water to come into that. So if they're not coming in there, we have to move this along one. That's no big deal either. Oops. Put it right. And then we should be able to put a, a node into here. Of course, transfer node. And that should then start to work. Wants to connect down there, of course, which you can't do. Oh, yes, we're now getting muscoline in here, which we don't want. So, we really need to filter that. So, we'll do that first as well. So, we need um, um, a filter. If I can get it out of the door, which I can just. Have well, I got filters and ten of them? That's plenty. Take two of those. I don't think we need to. I think we just need one. Well, maybe we do need to because it's eventually going to fill up with mescaline, isn't it? So we need to get rid of that mescaline. Now, so we could do that out of the side here. We'll see. So, so let's come into here and let's have a look. We've got some water in here, so that's good. Take the water and we'll put one of those into this. Like this. Filter the item filter with water, which is good. And then we can put the filter into here like that and remove from here of course these so now the water is going to be coming in here and is that going to work yes that's going to work but the trouble is we now get these empty tubes which we want to basically void off i think we should void those off now the question is where am i going to put those empty tubes well i suppose i could put an in yes i suppose i could put a fluid import bus here. It's a bit tight isn't it? At the back here I don't think I can do anything else. It's not the best place to do this. Maybe I need to move it downstairs. But for the time being, have we got a trash can? I seem to remember making one but I might have been doing the previous uh, test playthrough. I don't see one. So let's make a trash can first of all. trash can and we're just short of cobblestone of course let's take the cobblestone from downstairs I should have plenty of cobblestone in this in one of these I could take a stack out of that no problem oh crafting isn't it oops like that so we now have a trash can and we would also like an an import bus wouldn't we so we would like to do a fluid import have we got a fluid import a fluid export bus a fluid export bus different one must be configured all right i don't have a fluid import bus available what's this an export bus i need a fluid import bus how can we do that? Because there was one I was using. And I think. Where did we put it? I put that. That's an export bus. Again, I'm having difficulty with doors. That's a fluid import bus. And here. That's the fluid input bus on this one. So we'll remove this one out of here then. Like that. So we can then import the fluid directly into the system from here. But you can have both on the same thing, which is a bit of irritating. Never mind. 
Ah, okay, good. Try again. There we go. So now, with a bit of luck, we need to remove those. Is that going down? Now let's try that as an output. There we go. So that's now importing water into the system. So the only problem I've got now is to get rid of these empty tubes. Let me have a think. Let's go downstairs and see if there's a better place to do this. Because we have a lot more space here. And here would be better, wouldn't it? I'll tell you what I'll do. I won't do that on I won't record that, I'll just do it off camera. Because it you know the basically the principles there. And all I'm going to do is to connect the trash can into here so we can trash those tubes. Even and maybe I could even recycle the tubes for one second. Let's see what happens if we can put those into here. Can we put decompose these tubes? No, we can't decompose the tubes. And I don't think they have any other uses. Let's have a look for uses. We can use the fluid transposer to fill them up with stuff, of course. And that's it. So basically, they are just for fluid transposers. And the other option, of course, is to put them back into the AE network. So we could do that, no problem. I'm just wondering how, that's all. Here I certainly can't do very much, can I? So that's going to fill those up until those get up. So that's basically the problem I have at that one. I don't think I can just do it. Because you can't pull stuff out of the front and the bottom's being used and the only place is the side and the side's being used up that there. I'm just wondering if we could move this chemical decomposer over to the right. Probably not. Oops, I didn't need to shift that into that. Anyway, it's not a big deal. We've got hydrogen, carbon, methylene. Let's take those out. Right. So, next thing we need to do, let's put these away. Nitrate and methylene. One water, and I've got one iron and some magnesium oxide, which I don't need to put in there, of course, because I've got space for that down here. I've probably got space for that as well. And we'll put the empty tubes up here like this. Well, not all of them, but it looks like it's full. Put the rest into here. Okay, I'm going to have to think about what to do with these empty tubes. I want to I want to keep some of them, but maybe I don't want to keep all of them. I'll probably just put them into a cache. That'd probably be a sensible idea, wouldn't it? Right, so this is working just fine, as you can see. I can see loads of resources. Um, right, what else I would like to do today? Let's clear off that. Let's go back now, because I haven't done any quests for ages and ages. And I think there's one I can do fairly quickly. I get a new quest window. So I think it might be to do with take flight. No. That's a problem one, this one. Give me fuel. I need one fuel drum. Elements. I haven't done these. Oh, dense refined plates I can't do. Because I can't com compress those yet. What else can we do in here? Well, we're working towards this, but... Ah, uh, maybe I'll use the diamonds or something like that. Then, then it would be possible to make a drum, but I don't know what to do with the drum yet, so that's that one. I think we can't do that. We can't do this. We may be able to do this one, stamp, because that's an ignis, That's basically an ignis extrusion. This one here is an inscribed calculation press, and we get a loot chest. So it might be worthwhile doing that one, but there is another quest I can do. I know there is. Hold on. Where has it gone to? Stars align. This one. But, excuse me. This one here is to make a Mark Three. So that would be, if you click that, it would be a Tier Three rocket. And for some reason or other, and I don't understand this, there's no Tier Two rockets in this questing line. There should really be. And then we've got this one. So we need to make a fuel loader. And then we get a loot chest. And then after that, we can make this one. So let's see if we can make the fuel loader first of all. I think we probably can do that now. 
and we're certainly going to need to do it. That's this one, huh? Fuel loader. So that's 32 steel plates and one heavy duty plate. That's no big deal, we've got plenty of those now. Well, plenty, we've got some anyway. Let's look for heavy. So we've got one of those, no problem. And some steel plates, 32 of those, so we've got that. Let's take half of those, craft those into the other type, and then we can basically make the fuel loader. So you'll see the importance now of all the stuff I was doing earlier on. With them, um, let's put that into there and that into there. Click the sterling generator, the fuel loader. I see this is only 600,000, so it'll be done in a few seconds. Basically, I can also remove these five because they don't make much difference to the overall power of things like 200 RF Nothing is it. So now we've done this request So let's have a look Detect so we can claim our loot chest. Let's have a look at the loot chest. Oh I made a slightly larger chest as well. I was going to show you that This slightly larger chest is just larger takes the full block it's got no more capacity so three rows of ten three rows of ten oh, very good <laughs> the trouble with that one is you can't get anything behind it so you can't click items behind it whereas this one you could click it you see that's the only difference that I can see whether that's useful or not I'm not sure so where was that quest again oh quote yes this one rarity 25% that's a lot and we get an ME interface. Ooh, that's actually a pretty good reward because we haven't got any ME interfaces yet. So I might be able to do some automation with that one. Hmm, interesting. Anyway, the next quest along the line opens up these ones here. What have we got here? So here we've got to make a waystone and a return scroll. So let's have a look what we have to do for a waystone. Oops, wrong window, of course. So I'll be basically basically get that. We get waste zones and we get this one. So we need 16 ender pearls, 64 end stone, and 64 bricks. Actually, not really a big deal. And this one, 10 ender pearls and 10 books. Also, not really a big deal anymore because we've got ender pearls we can make fairly quickly. Books, well. I think I'm going to leave that until next time. So until then, I'm going to say bye for now. See you then.